Yeah, I'm, I'm Will Quam. I, I run a project called Brick of Chicago. I, I, know, I know a lot about bricks. I reached out to Will because I had a recent epiphany that maybe not all bricks want to be an arch. You see, every architect knows the story about Lou Kahn talking to bricks. Lou Kahn says, you say to brick, what do you want, brick? And brick says to you, I like an arch. And you say to brick, look, I want one too, but arches are expensive and I can use a concrete lintel. And then you say, what do you think of that brick? And brick says, I like an arch. To see how the, all this stacks up, Will agreed to introduce me to Bricks. So, I asked him if he could talk to Bricks, like Lou Kahn. What? No, I could talk about Bricks. Did... I thought I made that clear my email. I don't... You can't talk... You can't talk to a... So if you can't talk to them, how do you know what it wants to be? I mean, it's a Chicago common brick. It's a, it's a brick made in, in Chicago, and I, I guess... I mean, that's a piece of limestone, which is ancient seashell. So that, that was alive, but I... I can't talk to, to, to mollusks. Uh, this is called a stretcher. Uh, when it's long like this, and that's called a header, when it's short. Um, that's a flashpoint. That's where a brick was stacked on another brick in the kiln. That's called buff, when it's yellow. That's just pink. There's not a special name for it. It's just called pink. So I asked about those bricks behind him. Don't those want to be an arch? Well, I think they are. They are an arch. We can say that it is, they are an arch. I, don't, I think the mason wanted them to be an arch. But uh, yeah, oh, they do a pretty good job at it. Brick, brick, bricks are great for arches. Um, yeah, Louis Con he, he got that part right. There, there used to be a window, probably for the laundry. It's a limestone sill, too. Oh. This is, a, this, is a, this is new construction using entirely reclaimed old Chicago commons. Oh. Wait. No. No, this is a, that's a new brick meant to look like commons. No, that's trash. That's trash. So these are cool because these are workers' cottages. And they've got all brick construction, which is great because it's fireproof. Built probably in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And they've got these different brick details on the other opposite sides of the, the window. Uh, this is a 1903 former Norwegian Baptist church. It's got these circle windows, all made out of brick, all made out of bricks, formed into these arches. And on the pointed arches on the sides, the bricks are specially shaped to make this arch. And you get inside the, uh, inside the big circle window up there, you also get these rounded, what are called bullnose bricks, with rounded edges to, to make the circle even more clean and crisp. Someone might see a face in that, but I but it is not. It looks like we have a, a, an arch here. Are those bricks? Uh, it is an arch, um, but no, that's, uh, that's stone. That's limestone. Um, so not all arches want to be of brick. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to, good way to put it. But actually, well, that, that is a, a brick arch there. That's a, it's a flat arch or a jack arch. It's, it's straight at the bottom, but it, it is an arch. Those bricks look kind of tortured. I don't know if that's what they want to be. Well, I mean, they were cut into, into place. So if, if they felt feelings, which again, they don't, it probably could have been a little painful for them. Um, but again, they felt nothing. Uh, and the mason merely put them that way so that the window could have an opening. Will taught me about all sorts of torture practices for bricks. So yeah, this is what's called a vertical scratch texture. You can see because it's got these deep vertical gouges where basically how this is made is they uh, extrude the brick. It's like think toothpaste coming out of a tube, this big mass of clay pushed through a die. And on that die, they put nails or, or, uh, or wires that scratch these deep channels in the brick, again, giving it a rough texture, trying to make it feel like a more natural material. I don't know if they like that. Well, well, I, I wouldn't like that, but I'm a human being with thought and feelings and a, and a, and a soul. Um, but again, this is clay and that's what it does. This is someone's office. I mean, you can really, you know, on this side of the building, you can really see the power of adding that texture to the brick uh, gives it. 
you know, it's all about catching sunlight and creating shadow on the face of the brick, creating a building that's more like a painting with each individual brick, like, an, an, like a brush stroke, rather than a unified mass uh, of a facade. Like the Green Knights in theaters now starring Dev Patel is the Green Man. And you find him all the time, the Green Man tucked away in, in medieval art and, and Renaissance, usually this kind of squat face peeking out of these leaves. Uh, but, but though it, look, it looks like a man, it looks like a person, it, it, exists, it exists only in stone. Uh, it is not alive. Uh, it didn't choose to be here. These are called coins. You have these blocky sections at the corners. That's called a coin. So uh, as you can see, these bricks are not an arch. These bricks are coins. It's a French word. They want to be blocks, but uh, again, they, they don't want anything. Um, they're, they're just put in place. So, so this is what's called face brick. This is your nice brick that you put on the front of the building. It's, it comes from places outside of Chicago, like Pennsylvania or, or St. Louis. And this particular, it's, it's, it's a tapestry brick because it's got a rough texture emulating textiles and, and tapestries and using it like you would fabric. You can see it up at the top, they've got dentals and corbels, and dentals are these, you know, pointy things that look like teeth, and the corbels are where the brick sticks out row by row. And in general, it's an example of polychromatic brickwork, and you're using contrasting colors to, to create details across the facade in brick as if it was a fabric or a textile. All right. So he took me to visit some more bricks that don't want anything or at least don't want to be an arch. Uh, so these are glazed bricks. Um, it's not an arch. It's glazed brick. It's like a regular brick, except it's got a glaze on it. Uh, the white is a really popular color because it, you know, it's bright and it, it feels clean. So you see in a lot of bakeries and things. And then you get you get green glaze up there as well, which is also really common, possibly because copper is a cheaper additive. And again, I, I cannot stress this enough. This is not an arch. So you got some more corbels up there and, and sort of like, a, I don't know what, like a little channel, almost like a, like an archer's window up at the top there. So uh, up at the top there, with all those crisscross diamond patterns, that's called diapering. But it shares its etymological origin with baby diapers. And the mortar joints are super, super thin. It's what's called a butter joint, because it's like you're just putting a piece of butter on bread. Well, so th these bricks were made by the Streeter uh, brick company of Streeter, Illinois, sometime in the 1920s. Uh, and this texture they've got is their uh, emboss texture. Uh, and then the color is what's known as moss blend. You can always spot it because it's got these deep gouges that were cut into the brick as it was being produced. And then you can also spot that blend because of the greens and the yellows and the oranges and the reds all mixed together. You get something like this one where you get a smudge of a different color uh, within a single brick. This stuff on the edges here, that's all terracotta. And terracotta, like brick, is made of clay, but it's clay that's packed into these hollow sculpted blocks. Terracotta like brick's cousin? No. They're different. Similar in some ways, but, but different than um, humans. Uh, with their human relations, uh, you know, they're no more cousins than, than uh, I am a cousin of the brick. Will taught me a lot that day. Bricks don't build buildings, people do. Bricks are made of clay and don't really want anything. In addition to arches, bricks can become popular food items like butter, undergarments for babies, glazed like donuts, or tortured with nails to look like a painting. But even though they lack motivation, that doesn't make them any less beautiful or useful. Thank you, Brick of Chicago. Hey guys, I, I, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm sorry, I, I can't let them know that, that we, we talk to each other. Uh, they, they would just think that's too weird. Um, no, 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 I know, I know, you're great. I took it too far, I took it too far. You're great, it's all, it's all you. You're doing an incredible job holding this building up. You know, I saw a bunch of your cousins today, they say hello. Um, I, I, I'm sorry I had to do it like this, but you know, I gotta I got look out for you and I gotta look out for me. But you know, are we still on, we're still good for Sunday. All right, great. I'll um, I'll see you here. <laughs>